Well, let's begin this afternoon with something U.S. lawmakers are cooking up as we speak. It's a bill in the U.S. Senate called the National Defense Authorization Act and may be voted on as soon as tomorrow. But with most bills, it is chocked full of flowery language about protecting the homeland and giving the military the tools they need to do their job. But the bill also does something unprecedented. It gives the president, this one and the next ones, the authority to indefinitely imprison people without charge or trial, both in other countries and here in the United States. But don't take my word for it. Take a look at this. Here is text of the Senate bill. 1867, Congress affirms that the authority of the president to use all necessary and appropriate force pursuant to the authorization for use of military force includes the authority of the armed forces of the United States to detain covered persons pending disposition under the law of war. All right, not, example, not exactly simple language here. So why don't I play something for you from one of the bill's backers, Senator Lindsey Graham from South Carolina. This is what he said on the Senate floor a few weeks ago. 1032, the military custody provision, which has waivers and a lot of flexibility, doesn't apply to American citizens. 1031, the statement of authority to detain, does apply to American citizens, and it designates the world as the battlefield, including the homeland. The battlefield, says Senator Graham, is right here in your front yard and mine. And he says American citizens, if they are suspects, suspects, well, that they should be able to be detained and held without charge. Why? Well, in the name of inf information gathering, it seems. We're simply saying that you have the option to make sure that you can put intelligence gathering as the top priority. Now, this isn't just Republicans. The bill's sponsors are Republican Senator John McCain and Democratic Senator Carl Levin, who brings up a situation in which a member of al-Qaeda gets onto U.S. soil and attacks a military base. Senator Levin wants to make sure that that person is able to be detained by the military in that situation. That's the reason. Now, I should mention President Obama has threatened to veto the bill if the indefinite detention without charge or trial provisions are not removed. But an amendment by Senators Mark Udall and Jim Webb to strip those provisions from the bill just failed on the Senate floor moments ago. So what is going on here? Where's all that talk about sticking to the Constitution? It's a question radio host Alex Jones, for one, is asking, so we want to talk to him about it. Hey there, Alex. Um, there's a lot of talk uh, about, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about this, but there's very few people talking about it as well in the mainstream media. Now, I'll get to the lack of coverage on the mainstream media in a second, but let's just get to the bill itself. Um, what do you make of this? Well, Christine, there's a story inside of this story. I, for 16 years or more, have been pointing out that there is an open plan to start using the U.S. military on the streets of America. And in the MIAC and Homeland Security reports that law enforcement gave me over three years ago, it states none of this has to do with al Qaeda. It's all about returning vets, gun owners, libertarians, conservatives, anti war activists who are listed as terrorists uh, in these databases. So that's in the news today. So the bill itself is incredibly egregious, but it just expands upon the Military Commissions Act and other things where they now kill U.S. citizens abroad and say they'll kill them domestically. So they're setting that precedent, always claiming, well, it's for al-Qaeda because they're so scary. But when you get into the meat and potatoes, they want to use this against the American people. And just a few years ago, they'd say it's preposterous. We don't want to use the Army and Marines against the American people. Why, that's tyranny. That's a third world country. Uh, you know, that's martial law. Now they're like, well, yes, we want to keep you safe from al-Qaeda. But it's in the London Telegraph and all of the news that Al Qaeda, under NATO control, has been given Libya, is now being sent to Syria, uh, was used, uh, of course, in the 80s against the Russians, used against the Serbs in the 90s. I mean, this is a joke. Al Qaeda is the boogeyman they use to do this, but the whole thing is pointed at the American people. But here's the key when we started reporting this last week, when they brought this bill up, it has a section saying Americans are exempt, but then it has another section saying, unless we say so. So it's got the fine print. And then I had I noticed all these IP addresses hitting our article within minutes of it going up, which they don't even hide it. It goes back to military bases and PR firms. They were ready saying I was a liar and Infowars.com was lying, using the lying section. And in fact, it was in the Grand Rapids Press, Congressman Justin Amash 
uh, said, quote, it's carefully crafted to mislead the public. They had all the warmongering neocons and others come out in the last week and say it's not in there, it's not true, it doesn't affect citizens. A few things out. A few things that you want, that you mentioned because you brought up a lot of good points here. You, one thing you said, you said a few years ago people would find uh, something like this outrageous, preposterous. Uh, it is surprising on one level today, but this treatment, being detained, held without charge, even tortured, has already happened to an American citizen on American soil. Private First Class Bradley Manning accused of leaking those classified uh, documents to the whistleblowing website WikiLeaks. So um, if this is already being done. What's the point of having Congress vote on it? Well, they want to say it's the law, like Hitler passed laws saying he could round up groups he wanted. Uh, we had laws in this country saying blacks weren't human beings. Doesn't mean it's right. Tyrants always want to say they have the law on their side, but as Marbury versus Madison Supreme Court case states, anything that's abhorrent to common law, the Constitution, or organic law is null and void. They can pass a law tomorrow saying all uh, you know children with 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 black hair have to you know uh, show up at the local government building to become slaves. I mean, it, it's a fraud. We have a right to resist that. And the military-industrial complex, owned by the big banks, has hijacked America. I keep explaining this to people, and now it it, it doesn't just want to dominate the, the third world or the Middle East or Asia or encircle other uh, countries in Europe. It wants to dominate this country. And the military industrial complex is a bunch of offshore corporations. They run the red light cameras. They run the federalization of local police. They're just occupying America through NORTHCOM. They set it all up for this. Clinton, Bush, Obama. It's all just continuing. And, and you're right. Obama is saying he'll veto this because it's getting attention. But he's already gone along with saying they can secretly arrest and torture. And it says in here, you can be grabbed and no one ever even knows where you go forever. I mean, this is literally right out of Stalin, Stalinist Russia, Maoist China, uh, Pol Pot uh, type stuff. This is right out of East Germany, right out of Nazi Germany. This is 100% naked, classical 1984 in your face tyranny and they sit there and waddle around up there congress it's come out most of these members who have a nine percent approval rating know the american people are awake to them they say it's legal that they're allowed to insider trade and give government contracts and pass bills for companies their wives and husbands own they sit up there most of them blackmailed criminals, and say, we're allowed to insider trade, which is a felony. All right, Alex, I, I mean, certainly that, that was a, another big story that we talked about here on RT, um, really important to talk about, but I really want to stick to this, especially I'm because... I'm just saying it, they're crooks. No. They, they're crooks that want a military to protect their criminal activity. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I, I, I want to talk about this specifically and, and the coverage of it. As we said, this is happening right now. Um, certainly Congress and, and what lawmakers is working on is a priority for much of the mainstream media, CNN, MSNBC, Fox. They have congressional correspondence. Why haven't we seen this covered? Because it's a Pentagon-run PSYOP and the American people are the enemy. America's been hijacked. And they, listen, we had Pentagon Department of Defense spammers hit our site when this went up within minutes. They were waiting with the part of the bill that says you're exempt in that carefully crafted deception that the congressman talked about to mislead the public. They were waiting, hitting us within 120 seconds. Okay, so first they said it doesn't exist. Now that it's come out, they're saying, okay, it's good for you because they don't want this debate to go forward. They want to be able to go in and, go in and tell the troops, the carefully chosen cadres, now you're ready to operate in America. Listen, they've been operating for 20 years secretly in police uniform. I've interviewed the people. They've been doing gun confiscation drills that I've been to. I have literally had... If I told you the stories, it's it's in my police state films. It's like a movie. There is a giant secret government Pentagon program that now wants to uncloak. It's already here. Uh, let's broaden this too a, a bit, Alex. I, I want to show you um, the cover of Time magazine this week. First, I'm going to show you the cover of Time in Europe, in Asia, and in South Pacific. Uh, this basically shows a fighter wearing a gas mask in a village, still very much in the midst of chaos. And it asks the question, I know it's hard to read, but it says, uh, are free elections and the promise of an Arab Spring at risk on, and under the larger title of Revolution Redux? Um, well, now I want to show you this week's cover of Time here in the U.S. Um, it, it basically says, why anxiety is good for you. I, I, hopefully you can see this. Um, everywhere else in the world, 
They're talking about the Arab Spring. They're showing a picture of revolution, of chaos in the streets. And here we have a little cartoon guy, um, you know, tying a little piece of yarn under the headline, Why Anxiety is Good for You. Let's talk about that in terms of uh, the mainstream media and the coverage of bills that, you know, things that Washington lawmakers are working on right now that are just getting no attention. Well, the, you're right. I mean, the corporate prostitute New World Order media, 50 years ago, the U.S. was number one in education, number one in being informed. Now we are the least informed in the industrialized world by design. And we are spoon-fed propaganda. We're not told how the rest of the world sees us. And, and, and they try to keep us in this cocoon. And so I, I praise RT for covering this. I mean, literally, th this is right out of 1933 Germany with Hitler, you know, saying that the Reichstag has been attacked. I, I, I can indefinitely arrest and detain whoever I want. I mean, this is 100 percent nightmare that they would be openly doing this. But uh, they're only able to get away with this because, as you pointed out, Fox, CNN, and the rest of them won't cover it. And the few little mentions are, yeah, they're going to secretly arrest you to keep you safe. I, I mean, my God, let's say terrorism was real and not manufactured most of it. I'm, I'm a thousand times more scared of a big, giant military industrial complex with snatch and grab teams that can just disappear people, which we know they've been beta testing at the G20 in Pittsburgh. They would have military grab folks off the street and put them in cars. I later learned they were actors, but they would do it in front of the media to test it and to see what the public did. And I learned in London, I learned in Toronto, I learned in other places the G20 tests this. They are scientifically studying us and seeing if they can get away with this, staging snatching grabs in front of news cameras, and then the news is like not even covering it. And they're like, okay, the, the, the media is going to let us pull up and grab peaceful people and throw them in black vans. Let's do it for real. This is scientific psyop. We are under attack, as I've told you. It's not a joke. Mayday. A mayday. I wish people would have done this in Germany in the 1930s. We are in a red-level crisis. The people that have seized our government are preparing to launch World War III in the Middle East if, if, if their test balloons are successful. Alex, I just want to, uh, to wrap this segment up with, with one final question about the specific um, the bill that's taking place, 1867 in Congress, uh, the National Defense Auth Authorization Act. Um, you said that, that people in the higher-ups, in the military, in, in government, that they want to try to hide this. But the fact is, um, you can't hide a bill that's in Congress. You go on the, on the Internet and you can find the exact text of the bill. Um, how are they going to hide it? How do you see this playing out in terms of... Uh, they tried a couple things. Sure, sure. First, they hit everybody, the ACLU, Ron Paul, Rand Paul, with, no, it doesn't do that. No, no, it's, it, it doesn't arrest citizens. And, you know, I mean, you're not even supposed to have the military involved domestically. Now, they're not just going to arrest you. You're going to disappear. They say they could torture you in the accompanying legislation they've already passed. They go into a literal black hole. And so first, they run the PSYOP of it doesn't exist. When we force the fact that it exists, they just let the alternative media, the real media, cover it and hope people don't wake up to it so they can slip it through and then incrementally implement it. And, and so that's the plan. Listen, from Alabama to California, I have the local news articles. From Iowa to Tennessee, going back at least five years, every week they have regular Army and Marines. I have video at checkpoints pulling families out of their cars. You pull up with your wife and children, and there are state police with Marines acting like you're a terrorist, dragging you out of the car, searching you. It's all about breaking our will, training us to accept this. This has already been going on. J just like Bush was spying without warrants for many years before it came out, it was illegal. They just had Congress pass a law saying no more warrants needed in America. All They're right. Already this. We will certainly keep our eyes on this, but we do appreciate you weighing in and for really being focused in on the story. Radio host Alex Jones in Austin, Texas. Thank you, Christine.